This video is part of the series Fungi and their hosts and explains the different lifestyles of fungi and how these relate to ecosystem functioning. Fungi can be found in many different habitats. For example, these little guys grow in forests. Other fungi live on rocks, such as this fungus who lives together with algae in the form of a lichen. Most fungi like it moist and humid, but there are fungi growing in deserts. And some can even be found in lakes or in the sea. Fungi are heterotrophs, which means they need to search for food just as we do. They have different ways to obtain food though. Fungi either obtain nutrients from dead material or from living organisms. If they feed on dead material, they are called saprotrophic, saprophytic or saprobe fungi. If their nutrients come from living organisms, they are called symbiotic fungi. A symbiotic lifestyle means that an organism needs another living organisms from a different species to obtain food. This relationship can be either parasitic or mutualistic. Parasites extract nutrients from other living organisms without giving anything back, which normally harms the host and sometimes even kills it. Mutualistic fungi, on the other hand, take nutrients from their associates but in return give something back. Sometimes these associates are so dependent on their fungal partners that they can't survive without them. Here's an example of a parasitic fungus that lives inside of flowers and produces black spores. The infected flower cannot produce pollen anymore, which harms the plant's dispersal system. This mushroom has a mutualistic lifestyle and is a so-called mycorrhizal fungus. It lives in close relationship with tree roots. Mycorrhizal fungi provide water, nitrate and phosphate compounds for their plant partner and receive sugar in exchange. These two fungi are saprotrophs. They digest dead wood and release nutrients into the environment. Saprotrophic fungi are very important for terrestrial habitats, especially forests, because they are the decomposer of lignin. Lignin occurs in wood, more precisely in the cell walls of woody parts of plants. It is what makes wood hard. Lignin is one of the most abundant molecules on earth, but also one of the slowest to decompose. Saprophytic fungi can break down lignin much more efficiently and in that process give nutrients back to the system. Without fungi, dead trunks and branches would just pile up and it would take a long time until nutrients trapped in lignin would be released to the forest. Because of the ability to degrade plant material, saprotrophic fungi occur early in the food web. First come the photosynthesizers, which are plants, algae and certain bacteria. Then come fungi together with protozoa, heterotrophic bacteria and nematodes. Organisms on higher trophic levels then feed off fungi and other decomposers. Because fungi appear so early in the food web, they fulfill an important ecological role. However, it not only goes one way, fungi can also feed plants, feast on nematodes and consume ants, depending on their lifestyle. Mutualistic fungi are important to terrestrial ecosystems because they provide nutrients in form of water, nitrate and phosphate compounds to 80% of all land plants. Without mycorrhizal fungi, most plants could not survive in nature. Even parasitic fungi fulfill an important role in ecosystem functioning because they can increase biodiversity. This is how it works. Sometimes one species can thrive under certain circumstances and become dominant. After a while, they take up all space. Most species are not competitive enough and die. Parasitic fungi that are very specific to the dominant species can now level out the situation. They infect these plants and weaken them. Because there are so many of them, the parasitic fungi can spread easily and infect many other plants of the dominant species.
Now the dominant species is not as competitive anymore and cannot consume all resources in space. This leaves space for other organisms and increases diversity. Bottom line is, parasitic fungi keep organisms in check and prevent species from becoming dominant. As you have seen in this short video, fungi have different lifestyles, but they are all important for the integrity of our terrestrial ecosystems.